Attention fellow wedding photographers and fellow wannabe wedding photographers. Tell me if this sounds like you. You're scared of missing key moments on wedding days. You feel pressured to create photos that are quote unquote Pinterest perfect and Instagram worthy. You're nervous about all the different lighting scenarios that are out of your control and you're not sure how to handle them. You're confused on how to balance creating beautiful imagery while also capturing authentic moments and emotion. And you're worried about being in people's way way too often. If you're like, hells yeah, Sarah, you read my mind, then I'm here all excited and bushy tailed. Yes, I had to throw in the squirrel reference to let you know that I've created something for you that will help you become a confident wedding day storyteller in just two weeks. It's an online program that I created just for you called intuitive storytelling, and it's officially out and ready for enrollment. I want you to take a moment and imagine for a second what life would be like if you knew how to be at the right place at the right time on wedding days so you can catch those key and in-between moments. You got emails back from your clients saying, you were the best freaking decision we made for our wedding. You also knew how to confidently create strong storytelling photos that people felt emotionally connected to. And you finally felt like an actual fly on the wall, aka people don't stare into your camera all day anymore. Well, it's all possible because I consistently experience these things myself. And now I want to help you make these possibilities become your reality. Are you all bright eyed and bushy tailed right now too? Again, had to throw in the squirrel reference, you know me. So listen up. You can get started on learning all my tips and tricks of how I document wedding days as soon as today. You can go to saramonica.com forward slash storytelling for all the deets and instructions on how to grab your copy of the course. You'll have lifetime access and you can go at it at your own pace along with a private community of other like-minded photographers that are on the same journey as you are. With intuitive storytelling, you'll be able to learn how to confidently storytell like a pro on wedding days in just two weeks. So what are you waiting for? Uplevel your storytelling game this wedding season so that next year you'll be watching your inbox filling up with even more inquiries. Hello referrals from this year's clients. So again, head over to saramonica.com forward slash storytelling and sign up now. I cannot wait to see you in there. Hey you, welcome to episode 40 of the Shine and Thrive podcast. If you're new here, this is a podcast for photographers that want business development and personal development tips and tricks. And if you're a listener that's coming back, welcome back. I'm so excited to dive into this episode because we're diving into something that I don't think is really talked about that much, but it's a key secret to my success in, I think, booking more clients, converting leads into clients. Um, and also also just staying very, very organized with how I manage my testimonials from my clients. So this episode is all about my workflow to getting consistent five-star Google reviews and why they matter. So let me start off by asking, which I start off a lot of podcast episodes by asking you questions, because I think it's a great way to start working your mind and noticing where you're at in your business. So I do this often and for a reason. So has this ever happened to you? You asked a client to write a review or a testimonial for you, and you waited and waited and crickets. So they say they're more than happy to do so, but then you never hear back and you feel bad asking them again, or you did hear back, but it's months and months later. So this used to happen to me too, but I have a solution for you for this. So let's dive in. So do you know that feeling? And let me tell you what feeling I'm talking about. Think about when you get asked to write a review and then you're just thinking to yourself, okay, yeah, of course, like I'd love to, and that person deserves it, but oh man, that's just another thing on my to-do list. I know that's how I feel. So this is exactly why I don't ask my couples to write me reviews or testimonials. You're like, what? Well, Sarah, isn't this a podcast episode about reviews and how you get them. Um, Yes, you're in the right place. Don't worry. So let me share my secret with you. When 
when I first started my wedding photography business back in 2011, I made just $5,000 in my business. Now I bring in multiple six figures per year while working only 30 hour weeks serving my dream couples. I'm here to help you discover that it's so possible to have what you want, when you want in your business so that you can create the life you've always dreamed of and deserve. I'm all about paying attention to every single step of the client experience, no matter how small, because every single one of those steps matter. So since I don't want to burden my couples to have yet another thing on their to-do list, especially after their wedding, I don't ask them to write a review for me. Instead, what I do is I make sure to do such an incredible job at taking care of them throughout the whole process so that when they see their photos for the first time, they naturally write me back with so much love and excitement. And you know what I'm talking about. You get these love notes from your clients all the time. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this this is us in our photos. You documented our day so amazingly. I can't believe I have these to look back on forever. You made us, our friends and family feel so comfortable all those types of things, right? Those are the love notes I actually get in emails from clients. So then since basically what they wrote me is basically a powerful review, all I have to do is get them to copy and paste that somewhere. So I want to make this as painless and easy for them as possible to leave a review. So right now I'm going to share you the actual email I send them in this case. So this is how it goes. Oh, yay. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for your sweet words. It means a lot to know that I've done my job right and made you too happy. This email made me smile so hard. And this is exactly why I do what I do with regards to what you wrote me. Could I ask you for a favor? Would you be able to copy and paste what you wrote me into a Google review? I'd love it if you kept the review as if you were sending the message to me directly instead of leaving a typical review where you are voicing your thoughts to those who will be reading it. You can, of course, leave out anything you don't want to be shared publicly. If you choose to do so, just follow this link and on the right side, there will be a photo of me and underneath, just click write a review. Um, And then I just... That's where I share the actual link to where you can basically, what I do is I I just type in Sarah Monica photographer on Google, and then that link at the top, at the top that pops up, that's the link that I share because when you type in your own business name to the right of that, when the Google search engine pops up, um, that's where you see like a space for all your Google reviews. So that's basically the email. And I, I finish off the note with saying with love and gratitude, Sarah. So as you can see, I made it as painless for them as possible, right? And by the way, I say the part of them leaving it as if it were speaking directly to me, because I do believe those testimonials are more powerful since they are more driven by emotion. So that makes them even more believable since the person reading it can tell them that they genuinely did say those things to me. And that creates trust. That creates trust for those people that are potentially hiring you. And remember, people don't buy from someone they don't trust yet. So it's just a nice little tactic. For example, if you see or hear a review where it's like, she was very like a lot of the times I think clients think that they need to be more formal with their testimonials, right? And so if they say, oh, she was on time, very professional, organized, um, I would definitely recommend her, right? Can you imagine like reading that compared to, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is us. I'm crying. Sarah, I'm so grateful for you. Like, can you see the difference between those two? And because my brand, I want to make sure to attract clients that are very like, you know, easygoing, free spirited, go with the flow, full of emotion and just show up as they are and and open vulnerably vulnerably with their emotions i feel like my reviews are on brand, on brand if that makes sense so this is the whole strategy that i kind of have in place and i'm all about efficient workflows and having those in place so that i spend less time trying to catch up and more time thriving in my life and business it took me some time to get to this point of figuring out this trick. But since I started using this as part of my workflow after I hear back from clients, I now have 76 five-star Google reviews. That's a lot. 
And if I ever want to sprinkle them into my website or my social media, all my testimonials have a home. So all I have to do is just Google my Google reviews and they're all in there. And I get to just like pick out the parts that stand out and yeah. And share those on my website in my pricing PDF and social media. It's very powerful, right? Okay. And now good news. You can copy and paste this strategy straight into your business without waiting years until you figure this out, right? It took me years to figure out this simple little workflow. Uh, so speaking of copying, pasting, this email template was taken directly out of my email templates for wedding photographers guide in my shop. This is just one of the 26 email templates that I have perfected over the years to keep my business running smoothly and efficiently, and you can have them for yourself too. So I make sure that each email template also has an explanation of why it's written out that way so that you don't just copy and paste it just because that's what Sarah is doing, right? You want to understand the actual why, the actual strategy behind me responding a certain way in emails so that you can also have that understanding and really affect, like run your business in a more effective and detailed way, right? So you can grab these email templates at sarahmonica.com forward slash email templates. Okay. Lastly, so now you may be wondering, okay, cool. But Sarah, why are Google's Google's, <laughs> why are Google reviews important to have in the first place? Well, I used to have a section on my website called love notes, where I would just have some client testimonials from the past, which is great. And I do still have testimonials sprinkled throughout my website and definitely my price guide, but also having these testimonials live in Google reviews means that they are linked in a powerful search engine and they can optimize the following four things for you. So number one, it increases brand trust. So I know I do this. If I ever want to, you know, check out a product, if I'm looking at a product online or a service and I'm wondering, oh, should I go for it or not? It's so easy to type in that product's name or that service's name, brand name, and reviews, right? So if someone wrote Sarah Monica Reviews, that's what pops up, right? And then if they see 76 really, really happy people and the reviews are full of emotion, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, man, all these people had amazing experiences. I really do trust that investing our money into Sarah is worth it, right? Number two, it increases online exposure and local SEO since Google is more likely to show services that are rated well online. And reviews can be a strong signal to search engines that communicates trustworthiness and also authority. Okay. Number three, it increases your click through weight, rate, <laughs> weight click-through weight. So it increases your click-through rate. And what that means is, for example, if someone is searching Toronto wedding photographer, and then they're going down the list and they see your name and maybe Google has chosen to like specifically show that you're five-star rated because Google wants to, you know, highlight those vendors that are trustworthy and have authority in the space, right? So People can see that you have five stars next to your name, and then it actually increases your click-through rate. So that's amazing. And number four, it obviously can convert more clients. So let's say the client is researching three photographers and they check everyone's reviews and yours is the one that stands out the most, or maybe other photographers have no reviews because they don't have this step in their workflow. They are more likely to probably go ahead with hiring you. It could be the deciding, the, the deciding factor basically. All right. So there you have it. I hope this episode inspired you to add on the simple step to your workflow so that you can help book more clients. Said that wrong. So that it can help you book more clients in the long run. Just remember, this isn't a short term gain. I think it's more of a long term gain because the more reviews you have, the more trust you build. So it is a, a, definitely a long-term benefit, but in a, in a short-term sense, I mean, you also have a beautiful little workflow to put in place. And then whenever you need to grab a testimonial for your website, your 
PDF, pricing PDF, or your social media, you just Google your own name, <laughs> Google reviews, and then you have that all organized for you. Instead of you having to screenshot reviews, put them in a Dropbox folder, keep that organized. You know what I mean? Uh, so like, this is just like an amazing way to keep organized as well. And again, if you want to get your hands on that pack of 26 email templates in my shop to be more efficient with your communication workflow, head over to sarahmonica.com forward slash email templates. Lastly, if you have a question for me that you would love for me to answer, make sure you head over to Facebook and join the Shine and Thrive podcast community. I do live Q and A's in there, so you won't want to miss your question being answered. And I just cannot wait to connect with more of you in there. So that's the Shine and Thrive podcast community on Facebook. Head over and join right now before you get distracted by the next thing on your phone or your computer. And I cannot wait to connect you in there. Have an amazing and productive rest of your day. Yay. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and tuning into this episode. If you got value out of it, please feel free to message me on Instagram at Sarah Monica photo. That's Sarah, no H Monica with a K photo to let me know. I get so freaking energized hearing from others that what I've said has had a positive impact on their lives. Also, make sure to hit subscribe to the Shine and Thrive podcast to never miss an episode. I'm so grateful for you and I'm sending you all the productive vibes your way so you have the best week ever.